Got him out. Oh my gosh! Holy sh! The chances of being attacked by a shark are low, but never zero. And this simple fact is what makes shark attacks so terrifying. The idea that humans can be harmed at any given moment and rarely see it coming. Have you ever seen a surfer hit by a jumping shark? What about a great white trying to sink a boat? If you're ready to see some crazy underwater action, then here are the top traumatizing shark encounters for your viewing pleasure. Except it's not really pleasurable for those involved. Let's get into it. While culling invasive lionfish just east of Frank Sound in the Cayman Islands, this diver got the shock of his life. He was 70 feet underwater, fully immersed in catching these pesky critters, and was pulling one out from beneath a reef when he was suddenly attacked by a shark. If it weren't for chance, he would have been bitten. The shark advanced and lunged at him several times, trying to take a bite, with the diver doing his best to fend off the attack. He abandons one lionfish during the battle as the shark repeatedly rushed him. Then for a brief moment, the shark let him go, but not for long. As he raced for the surface, the shark took pursuit again. This time, our diver abandons his whole bag of lionfish as he fights off the shark's aggressive attack, striking at the shark with his spear and landing a few jabs. The predator backed off to investigate what was dropped before trying a third time to take a tasty nip of the diver, but that was short-lived as the shark realized his interest was best served in the bag of fresh kill that was dropped. While surfing in Florida, one must always be careful, but not for what you typically expect. Maximo Trinidad was out surfing on his lunch break when all hell broke loose. He'd started paddling as a decent surf was building and just caught the wave when something flew out of the water and collided with his board, causing him to lose balance and fall off. That something was a shark. The surfer quickly pulled himself out of the water and back onto his board, absolutely ecstatic to have caught it all on camera and of course headed to catch the next wave. Parker was spearfishing with his dive buddies in the Florida Keys when he discovered a harsh truth that he looks delicious to someone else, the way fish look delicious to him. He was searching the ocean floor for fish when he first noted the reef shark heading towards his friend, and before he could react, the shark switched directions and targeted him. With no time to get out of harm's way, he had to fight back. As he battled for his life, the shark took a chunk out of his right fin before landing a bite on his left leg and cutting the spear gun line. His dive buddy Justin went down to grab his gun, but what you don't see is his own battle with the shark. Losing the gun in self-defense. Lucky for him, he came out unscathed. The bite Parker sustained was deep and he lost a lot of blood, but with the help of his dive buddy, they rushed back to the boat for safety where his friends could administer first aid. One may need to rethink their boat choices when out on the open ocean. While a rubber inflatable boat has its advantages, there's one extreme disadvantage, and that's a great white shark with a healthy-sized appetite. A South African tour operator, Rainier Schempf, was guiding a tour near Seal Island when the group was met with a curious and feisty shark. They watched on and filmed as the shark sized up its meal, looking for the best way to get a taste of what lay in the safety of the boat. Growing restless, the great white decides to chomp down on the inflatable side of the boat, puncturing and deflating it as he dug his teeth in deep, thrashing side to side before tearing a chunk out of the boat. The crew decide their luck is up and head back to shore before more damage could be done. Eugene had had four encounters with sharks in the past, but none of them had gotten this close to him nor were they as big as this great white. He just entered the waters when he saw the shark slowly swimming below, eyeing him up before coming in closer. Eugene, ready to spear gun for the worst, carefully watching as the shark moved away but continued to circle him. The great white turned and advanced, but he was able to keep it at bay, though not for long, and made a second attempt coming closer as Eugene aggressively shoved his spear gun at the shark and yelled to try to scare it away again. The curious shark eventually took the hint and disappeared into the blue waters, giving him time to swim to his boat and pull himself safely aboard. A couple of kayakers off the South African coast were out fishing in the calm waters and enjoying the great weather when they found themselves in a potentially dangerous situation. One of them noticed a large 4-meter-long great white trailing them and curiously start to circle around their kayaks. 
As the huge shark lurked below, the kayakers plunged their camera into the water to get a better view of the beast, who was calmly swimming around them for a few minutes. They must have decided they weren't on its menu and moved off into the deep waters, leaving the kayakers with an exhilarating experience to reminisce about. A group of men were busy spearfishing in March 2015 in the Bahamas, so engrossed in what they were doing that they didn't see a reef shark approaching. The filmer had just caught a fish when suddenly he saw the shark dart into view heading straight for his friend. Before he knew it, the shark was on his friend and bit the 29-year-old man on the head. The diver rushed to the surface to alert the others while another friend helped the injured man surface. By the time he looked back underwater, the shark was gone. They rushed to get him on the boat while the man held his head, trying to stop the bleeding. It was so fast, no one could have guessed that the impact would be so critical. This Hawaiian freediver had just caught a fish while out with friends and was hanging out on the surface while his friends carried on when suddenly a huge tiger shark approached the group. The large predator was likely attracted by the fish they caught. It started circling them and sizing them up, getting braver and braver with each round. While keeping their cool, the divers had their spears readied and pointed at the shark as it lurked in and around them, looking for a way in. Though the shark wasn't overly aggressive towards them, it still had no intention of backing off anytime soon. At one point, the video shows the young diver poke and try to push the shark away, but he barely gets a reaction from the beast. It isn't until the tiger shark comes directly at the diver and gets jabbed close to his eye that it learns to keep a bit more distance. For several minutes, they remain calm and continue their efforts to deter the shark, eventually making it out of the water safely. With a limited open season to hunt red snapper, this diver was eager to bring one home and caught just what he was looking for early in his dive. He secured the fish to his gear and then proceeded to clear out some pesky lionfish with his remaining dive time. It was while he was engrossed in this new chore that the shark appeared and went for his prized meal. <laughs> Not willing to lose his kill or his fishing gear, the diver immediately grabbed his spear gun that was being dragged by the shark making off with his fish and jabbed the shark with his rod, causing the hungry predator to drop the snapper. The shark was not impressed to have lost such an easy meal and came back around for another try, but the diver knew he earned that snapper and was willing to fight for it, leaving the shark no choice but to retreat. Dan White was filming his dive with a group in Egypt's Red Sea when an oceanic white-tipped shark approached them. The shark circled them, getting uncomfortably close to one of the divers a couple of times, showing obvious signs of aggression. The diver had to bump the shark several times to fend it off. Then it targeted a second diver, moving in close and grabbing hold of his leg. The diver struggles to free himself as the shark clamps down and shakes, releasing a plume of blood. Another diver manages to fight the shark off and rushes him to the boat to administer first aid. If you're not paranoid of going into the waters after this, you're braver than I. While shark attacks are rare and you generally won't find yourself in a situation of fighting for your life, it still begs the question, will you be next? We'll catch you later.